Hey, I'm Kara from Darling Vulgarity. Today I'm going to talk about a couple of pieces that I recently bought from Linen Naive. Linen Naive? Linen Naive just sounds wrong, doesn't it? Anyway, a couple pieces I bought from them recently and what I think about them. I should probably start this video and all videos off by saying that nobody sends me these dresses. There's definitely nobody willing to pay me to wear them. Uh, I bought all this stuff on my own and this is an honest review. This is the La Luna 11 dress. The color is old lace, which is like a beige natural linen color. Uh, it's a size extra large. It is 95% linen and like 5% silk, just to add a little bit to the softness. It has an Ampere style waist and elastic at the umpire waist and at the top. The only straps are these two black ribbons that then go down the front and back of the dress, which is really the reason I bought it. I just loved that detail, that high contrast of the black ribbon. I normally wear a size extra large. I'm a women's size 14. I definitely could have sized down in both of the pieces that I'm gonna show you today. Everything is elastic, everything is very billowy. That being said, I'm happy with the way this one looks. I think it is very romantic looking and I feel totally comfortable in it. I'm five foot four. It is actually a perfect length on me. I could walk around barefoot and I wouldn't be stepping on the dress. I wouldn't be tripping over myself, which is always a plus. If I could change one thing, about the La Luna dress, it would be to make these straps adjustable. You could make it like a little bra strap or even cuter, you could put some, like a few different buttons in the back so people could sort of choose what length they wanted. But as it stands for now, while there's all this room width-wise, um, there's no room length-wise. And since it's an umpire waist, I'm always trying to get it to fall in the right spot but since this is fixed and this is elastic, it's always sort of pulling itself back up. So it doesn't, it kind of falls mid-boob sometimes, which doesn't look totally flattering. I do still like the dress. I can definitely see myself wearing this a lot in the summertime on days that I just want to look cute and feel really comfortable. The second linen naive piece I'm going to show you is the Trista 24 wool hooded coat. It's in the dark slate gray color, but I will be honest, there's natural light coming in from the window and you can probably see that it's got a little bit of olive to it. I love this coat. I was totally in love with this coat when I first saw it. I think it's so romantic looking. It just looks like the princess in disguise riding through the woods. I love the color. It's a nice heavy coat. It really is very high quality. There is a lot of weight to this coat. I love that there's a hood because I live in the mid-Atlantic, so the rain is not rare here. It rains pretty often. And I got, again, my normal extra large, which, you know, you could see that the extra large in the linen dress uh, was a little big but doable. The extra large in the coat is quite big. I really should have sized down. And when I tried to, they told me that I would have to pay for the return shipment back to China. And then once they got it and processed the return, they would send me a replacement. Well, I had already been waiting for about a month to get this coat and winter was about half over by that time. So I knew that if I waited, I just wasn't gonna wear it, at least until the next year. And it's not cheap, it's a $300 coat and it was gonna cost me another $80 to ship it to China, which to me just didn't seem very fair, so I ended up just keeping the extra large. It's not too bad, but it doesn't have the shape that I foresaw when I looked at the photos. I think what I'm gonna do is buy one of those little um, clips off of you know Amazon or wherever that kind of cinches the waist in the back a little bit, and I feel like that'll fix the problem. Another thing I like to do is belt it. I've added a belt so you can see what the coat looks like with the more cinched waist that it's supposed to have. And you can see there's a real huge improvement in just the silhouette of the coat. 
I think a belt is also a really great way to style this coat because the coat itself is full coverage. If you're gonna be outside doing activities in the winter time, which during Halloween, Christmas, you often are, your coat often becomes the only thing people see. So you want it to be a nice coat and you want it to look stylish. And a belt is a really nice way to add a little bit of personality to your outerwear. Those are my two Linen Naive pieces. I don't know that I'll be ordering from them again. I did go by the size chart recommendations for both pieces and I do feel like the sizing is a little bit off and the return process was not an easy or cheap one. While I love their designs, I think they're romantic. I think their clothing is really high quality. I appreciate the use of natural fibers. I think it's something that I might look for on the secondhand market rather than buy firsthand from them anymore. That's my honest review. Thanks.